This is Winnipeg's number one hit music station, Hot 103. My name is Ace Burpee. That was Enjoy Your Pumas. Joined now in studio by Rosie Len from Enjoy Your Pumas. How are you? I'm doing awesome, thank you. You and I, well, we share, um, we share one very um, particular trait, and that would be we have a strong francophone background. Which and school did you go to? École Centrale. And it was awesome. I don't even know that school. Mm, it's in Transcona, and it was the greatest place I've ever been. I think it times to my confidence by 10, knowing another language. Mm -hmm. It did wonders for one's self-esteem. Just knowing um, another language gave you like a whole new sense of pride. Bonjour, Felix. Comment ça va? Bien, toi? Ça va très bien. Being bilingual in my professional life is uh, absolutely necessary. I work in, uh, in St. Boniface in French every day. Um, there's no way that I could continue um, in my practice as successful um, as I have been had, had I not spoken French. Some of my patients only speak French um, and for them they will drive two, three hours sometimes from out of town to come to our practice just to speak French with us. So be able to communicate with somebody, especially in the medical field, is, is very important because otherwise you don't know what's, what's going on with your own, with your own health. The transition from, from a, a French high school to an English university was, uh, was a very easy transition, a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, a lot of stuff is even a lot simpler with the Latin-based, knowing a Latin-based language like French um, on the uh, periodic table of elements, for instance, something like copper makes a lot more sense to be CU because in French it is crivet and it's spelt with a CU and I would say it's always useful to try and maintain a second language that you never know when the opportunities are going to come up. There's a lot of employers that won't even consider hiring people who aren't bilingual and it's important to keep all your options open. When your last album came out, I was looking through the liner notes and I'm like, I had a second, all of these words are in French. J'ai joué le volleyball à l'Université de Winnipeg et on, euh, on voyage tout autour du Canada. Et, um, je trouve que c'est chanceux que je peux communiquer avec tous les athlètes autour du Canada et pas seulement les anglophones. Uh, I've had the opportunity to travel a little bit internationally and I've been to South Africa as well as Argentina. And initially I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to communicate with the locals and thought that that might um, uh, create less of an experience and I wouldn't be able to learn their culture as much but as it turned out either a lot of people across the world speak French or I was able to pick up their language a lot easier because I've had to um, work through a language before I've had to learn French so I was able to pick up Afrikaans Spanish a little bit presently I study law at University of Manitoba and um, I wasn't sure how French would be useful initially, but I've found that it is in fact going to increase my chances of um, getting employment. Alors, la confiance que le français m'a apporté va certainement aider dans mon emploi dans le futur, parce que je dois parler à haute voix et peut-être je ne vais pas être uh, confortable avec ça tout le temps, mais um, si je peux trouver la confiance pour parler français, je peux certainement trouver la confiance de faire dans mon emploi. When you meet kids and they're, they, they think you're now more on the same level because you speak their language. Does that cool. make sense? Yeah, totally. They're like, oh, that's what i And then they're like, I don't know, it's a great equalizer. I love the cinema. I love going to to movies um, from all and, and watching movies from all, all parts of the francophone world. Uh, it gives me a new perspective on the world and what's going on, uh, literature, um, and then also music. And so that has been for me the greatest gift, and and it's part of my everyday life. J'ai jamais rencontré quelqu'un qui me dit, oh, je regrette d'avoir un prix une deuxième ou troisième ou quatrième langue. Je vois souvent dans nos écoles aujourd'hui que c'est les, les, les élèves des familles de, euh, immigrants qui, qui s'engagent vers d'autres langues, mais aussi je vois les élèves d'immersion qui décident au secondaire de suivre le cours d'espagnol à faire à l'école, de suivre le cours de japonais, et eux, peut-être ils parlent aussi une autre langue à la maison, alors ils quittent l'école secondaire avec trois, quatre, cinq langues. Alors pour moi, ça c'est magique. Starters, when I saw that you had a couple of um, en français tracks on your new album, I, I actually thought of you all differently, as in, I liked you guys before, but then I'm like, okay, now I'm like... 
I work as a tour agent with Tourist Marielle, so I give guided walking tours of St. Boniface. My parents put me in immersion because they recognized the value of learning a second language. Uh, my parents don't speak French, but my mom's first language was German, and she learned other languages as a child as well. After high school, I registered at Collège Universitaire de Saint-Boniface, and I did my Bachelor of Sciences there. I just finished this spring. Going into university, I was fairly nervous about that. Um, I was worried about people judging me on the quality of my French and worried about being able to... I was less worried about the academic side of it because I had already done my courses in French, but still a little bit worried about being able to write at that level in French and things like that. But it was completely fine. I didn't have any problem. In the fall, I will be moving to New Brunswick and I'll be working as a French language monitor in schools, helping kids with their French and doing different activities with them. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Tu as fini avec ton texto? Oui. OK, juste pour laisser savoir, normalement, dans le bibliothèque, on ne se sert pas du téléphone cellulaire. OK, excusez. Pas de problème. OK. I'd, I'd like, I think the best way to describe it is, is probably, um, and, and I'm paraphrasing from John Ralston Saul, when he said that as an anglophone, um, or somebody that, that knows one language, if, if your life is a corridor, as you're going down the corridor, you have doors on one side that are open to you. But if you know two languages, as you're going down that corridor, you have doors that are open to you on both sides. Okay, you're in a band, you create music, you create music in both French and English. In terms of um, the appetite for that, where do you, where do you see that? Is it a, um, risky move? Is it something that broadens your appeal? I, I don't know if it was a conscious thing to, to have it. Like the guys, um, a lot of them went to immersion school and um, I think they really like the idea of having French in there even though the Injury Pumas is, is an anglophone band. I'm a lawyer here in Winnipeg and I'm president of the Association of French Speaking Lawyers and and it's just an advantage in my practice. I, I help people immigrate to Manitoba, and included in those are people who are coming from the French-speaking French uh, countries. So whether it's Europe or Africa or other parts, and that's a whole professional area that opens up to me because I speak French. So it means more clients, more opportunities, and I had a chance to travel to Senegal in Africa and to live with families and experience the culture because they invited me to speak about immigration to Canada, and they wanted it in French. Je tiens le français à cœur, mais je me sens comme anglophone ou francophile. Je, comme, je suis président de l'Association des juristes d'expression française du Manitoba. Et je trouve que c'est un nom très in intéressant. C'est l'expression française. Alors ça inclut non seulement les franco-manitobains, mais aussi les nouveaux arrivés, mais aussi les immersés comme moi. Et on est tous ici pour élargir l'espace francophone et l'espace d'expression française. Maintenant, à la Faculté de droit à l'Université du Manitoba, il y a un French Law Club, un sous-groupe de l'Association des juristes d'expression française. Alors, il y a 26 étudiants, plutôt euh, des immersés, qui veulent apprendre le droit au Manitoba en français, qui veulent être membres d'un club, qui veulent s'exprimer en français, qui veulent pratiquer leur français et veulent euh, pratiquer dans les deux langues au Manitoba. Alors, c'est quelque chose de nouveau et on est très fiers de ça.
Well, I had friends growing up who didn't go through French immersion, and their educational experience was only in one language. And I, and I, I felt then and I feel now that I had an advantage. My parents, by making me learn an additional language, have set me up so well for all sorts of things, whether it's professionally, whether it's being able to discover different cultures, whether it's to travel, or just to be able to, you know, in my own city, be able to be friends with more people than I otherwise would. Uh, I'm really glad that my parents had the, the foresight to have me learn French and it's just an advantage and anyone who's thinking about it should pick another language and they should say yes I want my children to learn French I want to learn French it's only a positive. Um, I remember catching up to like when I went to French immersion mm -hmm. we started a bit behind the, uh, those that had been Seven of the 11 Manitoban health authorities are designated bilingual. There is a vast variety of careers in health field and social services, from the paramedics right up to the physicians, to the specialists, surgeons, x-ray technicians, uh, lab technicians, uh, MRI, sonography, social services. So just to tell you how many opportunities there is to fill a designated bilingual position, it's vast, all through Manitoba. When um, somebody needs health services, they're often vulnerable, stressed, they might have had a bad diagnosis re recently, um, and when things are that stressful or that meaningful to communicate for your health, uh, it's always important to be able to communicate truly what you feel, how you're doing, what the process is, what the care plan is in your own mother tongue. Because of the importance of the services and because of the vulnerability of the person also, on a la chance ici à Saint-Boniface d'avoir de la formation en français pour euh, combler ces besoins-là à l'Université Saint-Boniface qui offre des euh, programmes de formation en santé. French, it's such a value added to your service and to the quality of service that you give to those Franco-Manitobans that want that service and what a difference it can make in somebody's life. From the province of Manitoba, the University of St. Boniface, St. Louis, Leo. I learned French as an adult after uh, I met my wife, essentially. Uh, we decided that we were going to try and raise our children in French, so I started learning it. And uh, it really helps uh, as a politician because you can speak to more publics, you can speak to more people. Mais de la faire, c'est une question de pratique. C'est une question d'avoir les opportunités de la faire avec les autres. C'est nécessaire de prendre l'occasion de lire en français, de regarder les médias en français, parce que toutes les choses font une différence à long terme. In my approach, you just work at it and work at it, and there comes a point when you get more comfortable doing it with practice. So the risk taking comes around to people that are supportive and a willingness to take a shot at it and a willingness to learn when you make mistakes. And I got to tell you, in my job I make mistakes in both official languages all the time. And uh, you try to keep them as small as possible and uh, you learn to work around them. But uh, when you're doing a lot of uh, subjects and when you're doing a lot of uh, new things all the time, you're not going to be able to have everything perfect. If you expect perfection from yourself, you'll never get started. But if you expect to learn and get better at it, then you're going to make progress. People are with technology and you are learning and That's it's right. it's fun, right? You know what it does it, and where we are at in our lives right now is, I mean... The opportunities available to us are, the, are enormous. Totally. I mean, we can do, I mean, just based on where we live, we're very lucky. You can literally do, if you want, um, anything you wish in life. And so the opportunities um, are enormous for people growing up today. But you can almost double those opportunities simply by learning another language. Absolutely. And you cannot underestimate how big a deal that is. Right. French is awesome, is our <laughs> point. Basically. That is Rosie. Her band is Enjoy Your Pumas. Which one do you want? In fact, you choose one. Uh, well, here's this song's kind of fitting. It's called When It's Over. And uh, it's actually a bilingual song, so uh, the verses are in French and uh, the chorus there is in English. Good job, that's Rosie. This is Enjoy Your Pumas on Hot 103. Hey. Hey. How'd the Francais project go? 
Piece of cake. How about you? It was, it was okay, but I dealt with it, so. That's good. Yeah. So what you listening to, anyways? I don't know. It's really good, though. Oh, yeah. to be afraid. 